Hello, I'm doing this video so that I can explain to you how this, uh, the, the Book of Mormon and a uh, particular scripture in it has really um, turned my life every way but loose. Um, I'm going to read it now and then I'm going to explain to you how it has helped me. Uh, it's, in, it's in the Book of Alma, chapter 36, verse 1. And it says, My son, give ear to my words. For I swear unto you that in as much as ye shall keep the commandments of God, ye shall prosper in the land. Now, when I read this scripture for the first time, that it hit me, that it really spoke to my my spirit, um, I was in quite a quite a bad place. Um, uh, it was a long time ago. I might have been homeless at the time, or I might have been living in a, a room with a sink. But, uh, and I was away from my family, they, uh, I didn't really give them much time and because of the person I was, they didn't really want to be around me, I was destructive and um, wasn't in a particularly great place. And that really, really spoke to me, especially when it said my son, because I pictured it as if Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ were actually speaking to me directly. And... Uh, it says, I swear unto you that in as much as you shall keep the commandments of God, you shall prosper in the land. Now that to me sounded really simple. If I wanted my life to turn around, if I wanted it to be better, if I wanted to reestablish those, uh, rebuild those bridges with my family, all I had to do was um, keep the commandments of God. And that was something I was willing to do, even if it's just an experiment. And I'm so grateful I did because since then my life has been an upward climb. Um, it's been a climb, but it's always been climbing upwards. And I am so grateful for it. Um, if you will just uh, keep the commandments of God, if you will just um, do what he asks of us, we will get what we most want in life, which is true joy and happiness in our hearts. And I'm so grateful for God in giving us this book, the way in which we can find that happiness, it, it's unbelievable. And that one scripture, just that one verse, changed my life unbelievably. And I'm so grateful for it. Um, I know that this book is the, the true book of Jesus Christ and I know that he lives and that he is our brother and that he he died for us, which sounds kind of um sounds sounds kind of um, sad. But if we think about it, he was willing to sacrifice his own life for us, that we will have true and lasting joy in boy do you get joy in, in reading and applying the principles in this book and i'm gr so grateful for it in the name of jesus christ amen